Down 2013 with 27 seconds left. Jared Goff finds Amon Ross St. Brown for the touchdown. Lions are going for two. A trick play. Jared Goff throws a two-point conversion to number 68, Taylor Decker. However, flag on the play. Illegal touching by Decker. Ruled as an ineligible receiver. But as you see here, three different offensive linemen approach the referee. And the official identifies number 70 as eligible instead of 68. After the game, folks, here's what Lions coach Dan Campbell had to say. I explain everything pregame to a T. Okay, I did that. 70 reported, 58 didn't, or 68 didn't. We threw it to 68. That was the explanation. What, what would you be? Would you be frustrated right now? I mean, is it on the call? Is it on the execution? Is it, you know, what, what is I don't it? like losing, Dave. And that's what happened. We lost. And that bothers me. You know, it bothers me. I don't like having an L. So that's the frustration. I'm sorry. I don't mean it at you. Hmm. Well, Bill Kyrie is pretty composed still. And to break down last night's debacle, we bring in our rules analyst, Super Bowl referee. That will be James Territory, simply put. Talk us, talk us through it. Well, you get a touchdown to Kerr. Brad Allen has finished that touchdown. You have players walking toward him, right? And 68, by his account, yells to Brad Allen, reporting, reporting. As you said, at that time, 70 skippers coming in. Now, Brad Allen's got the mix right there where he, see, he hears reporting, and he sees 70 who has reported throughout the game. Mm. So the assumption there at that point was 68 says he's reporting. Brad Allen makes eye contact with 70. Brad Allen says, I, I announced that 70 was eligible. You see him quickly go to the defensive side to verbally let the defense know, look, 70's eligible on the play. And there you have the beginning of the miscommunication. You know, I think we all had those conversations, Gene, with the officials as I had them with you before a game and talking about trick plays or something you're going to do to alert them to what you're doing to make sure that they understand what's right and what's wrong. And I think in this case, you have 70 report multiple times before this. There was a level of presumption, I think, on Brad Allen's part when he saw 70 come in. To me, six Decker needs to say, whoa. This is in 70 reporting now. And you saw Dan Campbell in his press conference getting confused. Yeah. He said, oh, I mean, six, yeah. 68 yeah. 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 is yeah. reporting eligible. So you want to bring that element yeah. of that. I know there's a little bit of deception trying to be creative because you want to be, make a look at the same Some thing. Some games, yeah, sure. yeah, but but 68's responsibility is make sure that official looks at me. I am the one that's eligible, not 70. I'm going to tell you right now, Brad Allen got confused. And why did he get confused? He got confused because Detroit executed exactly the way that they wanted to execute this yep. play. Now, you think back to the 2014 divisional playoff game between the Ravens and the Patriots. And John Harbaugh said after that game that the Ravens were clearly using deception and they also were using a substitute trick against us. Now, the Patriots went on to win that game. The flight game came the next week because Tom Brady says, we know the rules. I think Dan Campbell confused the officials. The players did exactly what they were expected to do. And, you know, quite frankly, it's a very, very chaotic moment in the game. And that's one of the reasons why he was confused. Well, I'm confused even more now. Listen to all this. I really, you know, listen, Gene, can once the play is over, can the official come back and go, I made a mistake? Mm. He can't do that. Not after he's announced that this player is eligible. Well, this is not a retraction now when we're not going to review and saying now that we've changed who is eligible. Okay. Once you the, make the, that the, announcement, the line, you've got to make that line, announcement. Steph, the bottom line is you've got to make sure the officials understand before you even run the you play. You do, Coach. You do. Yeah, so I have an honest responsibility. If I'm going to do something, I want to make sure they got it right. I'm watching them report. Did they report it? As, as what they did. So I'm just telling Taylor Decker, you make sure yet he know it's not 70 as it's been a whole game. But how many times as a coach or a player do you have to check in with the refs? You already went over it. But you you executed perfectly. Play, and you were penalized for executing it perfectly. No, I just feel like as players, as coaches, we get microphones shoved in our face every day after we make mistakes in a game. I feel like the refs need to speak out because we are all confused. I'm not trying to blame them, but no, I no, do no. feel like Detroit was penalized for doing exactly they ran what they planned on doing. And listen, they, when Coach Campbell says, look, I went over this to a T. Uh, I'm not going to apply that he got on the whiteboard and wrote down this exact play, right? right? When officials go in there an hour, two hours before the game, coach, anything special today? Did Coach Campbell say, you know what? Crucial plays, we're going to play ineligibles today. Don't forget, ineligibles are going to be reporting to you. Yeah. He probably did that, and I don't know how simply put, it. Taylor Decker did say, 
I'm eligible. Yeah. He, said, he said reporting, reporting. 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 Yes. And is that is that fulfilling his responsibility? Listen, uh, if somebody yells to me, reporting, reporting, I'm looking right back at you and I'm saying to you, this is an untimed down. The game's on the line. Yeah. Are you reporting as eligible? 68? Yes. Now make the announcement that it's 60. What Detroit did, what Detroit was doing, was that against the spirit of the rules? No, it's great games. It is. Let's well, time go. out. You go back to that playoff game with the Patriots and the Ravens. They made sure after that game that everybody knew who was on the field and who was eligible because yeah. of that. Right. There were two penalties on that play, and the second penalty was not announced by Brad Allen. That's why I believe he was confused. You know what? thing I'll say is congrats to the Cowboys and CeeDee Lamb had one hell of a game. Yes. All right. Love the fact that you and Bill Cower have a good relationship, <laughs> Eva. They're both from Pittsburgh. I'm four <laughs> spots it. away today. Hey, <laughs> folks, as we get ready to flip the calendar to 2024, here are the headlines.